morning YouTube from the Pacific Northwest, Boise, Idaho and uh, I've got a 1999 GMC Suburban here that I bought off Craigslist. It was advertised that it overheated and done some engine damage and I wound up picking it up for uh, $350 and uh, brought it home and uh, tore it apart and I found that uh, it had the original Dexcool in it and Dexcool has been associated with a lot of deterioration in gaskets and and uh, um, excessive corrosion in the motor um, and uh, anyway as I tore it apart I found out that it had been overheating on them for some time and they had all kind, done all kinds of patches to it they, the, uh, when I got it back together I noticed that they had also tried to glue the radiator back together in a couple areas where it had cracked uh, it was definite serious overheating and, and uh, when I got the heads off I noticed both the heads had some pretty serious severe cracks in them um, and uh, it, had get, it, had, it had gotten some coolant into the engine oil which is usually a bad thing it uh, doesn't mo work good with moving parts uh, sometimes your engines can be salvaged sometimes they can't uh, sometimes even though the engine isn't salvaged it's shortened life on because it's gotten into the bearings and hurt them and uh, in any case, I took a risk and I put it back together with changing the oil, flushing the engine out good. I got it back together and it runs really good, but I've got a noise in it that, uh, that uh, some would say is piston slap, some would say is rockers. Uh, all, the, all the videos, there's some similar noises that I see on YouTube, but uh, not, not necessarily identical. Um, when it comes to a rod knock, it's been my experience that the rod knock will get louder as the engine warms up um, and uh, and uh, this one's just the opposite it's noisy when you first start it on a cold start like today it's 40 degrees and then it softens way up um, but it's uh, seems to be more pronounced than what I would expect in a, in a uh, piston slap uh, I'm gonna do a cold start and let you hear for yourself has about 120,000 miles on it, so it's not a very high mile vehicle. Right off the bat, you can hear it. Pretty noisy. And as it gets warmer, it fades more. I'm gonna take it down the road so you can you can actually hear the noise on the inside. Now, once it warms up good, you, the mo noise is almost gone, which is indicative of what the of the piston slap. Here is the RPM drops on it, it just almost disappears for a second, then once it gets back under a pole, it comes back a bit. And right now it's still pretty noisy. But as soon as the temperature gauge starts to rise a little bit, then it goes away.
showing about 60 pounds of oil pressure right now. Hopefully we'll get this temperature to come up a little bit. Pretty cold day today. It'll give you a better taste of the, how it how the noise fades away. Another stop sign here that'll be the test when we accelerate. Yeah, you can still hear it. I read one post where it said, put some good loud dual exhaust on it if the noise bothers you. I think it would still bother me though. At this point, I'm not, I'm not sure exactly what the noise is. I'm uh, hoping that uh, maybe sitting for the last several months, uh, um, that uh, whatever is uh, making the noise might change a bit. Possibly a raw, uh, lifter. Uh, I'm hopeful the noise will faint. If it doesn't, I'm not buried in the vehicle that bad. So I I could I guess I could afford to put another motor in, just prefer not to. Now at the idle you don't hear it anymore. acceleration temperature is starting to rise a little bit so here was here's where I'm at on it I'm not thinking it's a rod yet. Could be, but uh, I'm going to keep driving until it identifies itself better or fades away, and then I'll uh, post an update if I ever figure out exactly what it is. even when you accelerate it's almost gone I pull into the service station here to get some gas and as I accelerate around the corner you may or may not be able to hear it by then I'll post an update if I ever find out something different. 